Today we are going to talk about blood volume and hematocrit. As we have started our new unit about kidneys and body fluids and we previously discussed intracellular and extracellular fluid. Now it is important to discuss blood volume and hematocrit as well because they are closely related with body fluids. Now blood in itself has both the intracellular and extracellular compartments. Blood has both the intracellular and extracellular compartments. If we divide the blood then it basically is composed of plasma the fluid portion and the cells and the cells themselves some contain the fluid inside them. So the fluid present inside the cells of blood is an intracellular fluid and the plasma in itself the extra is the extracellular fluid portion of, of the blood. Blood in a normal adult human being of 70 kg is around 5 liters. The amount of blood in a human body may slightly vary depending upon the conditions but in a normal adult human being of 70 kg the amount of blood is 5 liters and this makes it around 7% of the body weight. It makes it around 7% uh, of body weight 5 liters of 7 percent now out of this 5 liters bl blood 60 percent is the plasma 60 percent is plasma and 40 percent is rbc's which makes the hematocrit now if we take the blood in a container in a tube and we centrifuge it after sometimes the the red blood cell will settle down the red blood cell will settle down and the fluid will remain above it this portion of the fluid which is known as the plasma this makes around 60% of the blood. This is around 60% of the blood. Now plasma contains a lot of substances, minerals and proteins and um, ions and a lot of things. The red blood cells basically they make around 40% of the blood. Red blood cells basically make 40% of the blood volume. And the significance is that if the blood has been taken in a tube and it has been centrifuged, after centrifugation, the, the red blood cell, they basically pack together and the fluid portion is separated. Now this fluid portion is, as we discussed, is plasma and the packed cells, the packed cells together, they make around, uh, they, they are basically known as pack, the packed cell volume or hematocrit. When the blood has been taken in a tube and it has been centrifuged, the red blood cell, they stick together, they are packed together and the fluid portion is separated. This packed portion of the red blood cells is basically packed cell volume or hematocrit and it is also known as volume of packed red cells and it is also known as erythrocytes volume fraction. Packed cell volume, volume of packed red cells or erythrocyte volume fraction. These are different names for one in the same thing which is the hematocrit. Now what is the importance of hematocrit? Because we are discussing the body fluids and we discussed that the body fluid intake and body loss basically it keeps on varying during normal circumstances and the exercise and hot weather and due to sweating, due to vomiting and diarrhea and due to different conditions the intake and uh, loss of fluid on daily basis it keeps on uh, changing. Now with the, with the increasing fluid intake, with the increasing fluid intake and with the increasing fluid loss there is some changes there is some change in the amount of fluid in the blood as well so it is important to know the amount the normal volume of blood the normal volume of plasma and packed cells now in a normal male in a normal male the hematocrit is around 0 0.4 the hematocrit is around 0 0.4 because it is 60% and it is 40% so the hematocrit portion is around 0 0.4 in the females it is slightly low, it is slightly low or it is around 0 0.36 because females have few RBCs, they have few or they have basically less RBCs, their HB is low, they have low HB, so that's why their uh, hematocrit is slightly less than males. Now any, any condition, any condition which basically increases the number of red blood cells, any condition which increases the number of red blood cells or any condition which basically decreases the amount of plasma. So if the plasma is decreased, if the plasma is decreased or if the hematocrit is increased or the sorry the number of RBCs are increased, both these uh, factors, both of these factors will basically increase the hematocrit. Both these factors will increase the hematocrit or RBCs will basically come to this level. If the if directly the, the, the number of red blood cells is increased, so the packed cells will be present up to this level and the hematocrit will increase is in polycythemia. Polycythemia. The number of RBCs increase, so the hematocrit increase in, in the hematocrit, which normally is 0 0.40 in males, 
in the polycythemia in a condition in which there is increased production of red blood cells this hematocrit may be around 0.6 this may be around 0.6 it may increase so much similarly if the fluid loss occurs if the fluid loss occurs is occur in uh, dengue for example this hematocrit will increase now this increase is due to the decrease in the fluid portion this increase in the hematocrit is not due to the increase in red blood cells rather it is due to the decrease in the fluid portion or due to the fluid loss so that will also basically increase that will also increase the hematocrit now any condition which basically decreases the red blood cells like anemia like anemia that factor is going to decrease the hematocrit that factor is going to decrease the hematocrit so to summarize the blood in a normal adult human being of around 70 kg is 5 liters and it is makes it is around 7% of the body weight 60% of the blood is plasma 40% is basically red blood cells The, when the blood is spun together uh, is centrifuged it is spun and it uh, is uh, centrifuged the red blood cells they basically pack together and that packed cell volume that volume of those all red blood cells is basically the hematocrit which is around 0.4 in males and around 0.36 in females hematocrit is basically the packed cells volume or volume of packed red cells or erythrocytes vol um, volume fraction so these are different names for the hematocrit and the importance is that whenever there is dehydration whenever there is dehydration or there is increased production of red blood cells there is increase in the hematocrit and whenever there is decreased production of red blood cells there is decrease in hematocrit so in anemia the hematocrit will decrease but in polycythemia and in dengue or some other conditions in which fluid loss can occur there will be increase in hematocrit now these things basically are used as parameters to uh, to assess the clinical condition as well we are not going into that detail which may become a long lecture but to summarize simply you need to know that the blood is also very important in fluid management and uh, basically the volume the main, the volume of blood which is 5 liters it is maintained with the help of kidneys as well because kidneys are very much important in maintaining the fluid so 60% of the blood is plasma and it has a lot of fluid so kidneys also have a role in maintaining its fluid on top of that there is there are rbcs when they are packed together they are that is known as the hematocrit which is basically is packed cell volume so that's all about a uh, blood volume thanks a lot for watching the video